All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Team Rocket Takeover event, which is from June 21st till June 25th. Um, we're going to look at some of the bonuses that are going to be happening, uh, which Shadow Pokemon can be found in Grunts, what can be found in Team Leaders, what can be Shiny, and everything like that. So let's get into this. So the bonuses for this one is Team Go Rocket will be appearing more frequently at Pokestops and in Balloons. That's really good to try and get your Gibbles. Um, you can use the Charge TM to help a Shadow Pokemon forget frustration. Big one. All the Shadow Mewtwo's you've been getting, use these this chance to get rid of that frustration because it is needed. Um, and then also, increased number of Shadow Raids, which is good. It's the first time it's actually been added to a bonuses of the Team Rocket Takeover, so that's really good. Now, so... The Pokemon that Giovanni is turned Shadow this time is Regirock. I'm not going to go over too much about that. It's not the greatest of Pokemon. I will probably bring out a video on all three Shadow Regis and see if they are actually worth it. But for now, it's not actually that great. So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully it comes out with a different move as well. Because they're not actually that big of a meta Pokemon without Shadow. Never mind with Shadow. I think the only one that is, is Mega, uh, sorry, Reggie Steel, which does have some play in PvP. So, the Pokemon you are going to find from Team Rocket Grunts are Alolan Geodude, Ledibur, Hitmontop, Glammeow, and then the one everyone's looking for, Gibble. I am going to try and get as many Gibbles as I can in this four day period, um, because they are going to be huge moving forward, especially for raids, PvP, that kind of thing. I don't do PvP, but I'm going to have it there just in case I do start. So, you're looking at Arlo's team right here, with Apom being the shiny Pokemon, and Sharpedo and Magnezone being the two there. These Pokemon will be filled in. It has only just started in some countries, so these have not been filled in as of yet, and this is the only team that has been encountered. So, not a great one. Apom isn't the greatest for raids and also PvP, even in shadow form. So I'm, I would ignore this one altogether. Save your passes for a different one. Cliff's team with team of Shadow Aerodactyl. Hasn't really been shown on here yet of what his other Pokemon are, but Shadow Aerodactyl is not new. So if you do already have a shadow, definitely uh, potentially ignore this one. Unless you're going for that Reggie Rock, then you'll need to do a few to get that Giovanni pass. And then also you've got Sierra, which is what most people seem to be going for as per the Pokemon that have been populated here. That is going to be a Shadow Shiny Geodude, if you get it shiny, um, with the team of Steelix or Gardevoir and Gyarados or Houndoom. These Pokemon will be filled in tomorrow once the event becomes global, but for now it's not exactly global. And then for Giovanni's team, Persian as always, the next few Pokemon haven't been filled in yet, and then Regirock. I think soon that when they start recycling the Shadow Pokemon, this will be shiny, but for now it's not. And then we shall look at the 12 kilometer eggs, which is get from team leaders, and these are the Pokemon you can get from it. <laughs> So, you are looking at Larvitar, Absol, Skaroopy, Sandile, Scraggy, Pornyard, Rullaby, Dino, Pancham, Inke, Skrelp, and Salandit. Um, if you don't have Shani, Larvitar, Dino, Absol, Pornyard, it's a good it's a good way of getting them. But it's it's a difficult, like, to get the percentages here, You, it is really insane. And then Salandit. Any chance you have at getting that, you need a 50-50 chance of getting the female. So it's not the greatest of egg pulls, but sometimes you have to do it just to get rid of them. I'd wait for a quarter egg event, then you can get rid of these 12k easily. And then the field research task is a shadowy, sorry, a shadowy disturbance. And this is a special research centered on Giovanni like normal to get a super rocket radar. Um, you can claim a special research until put hidden gems on September 1st. Remember, if you don't start step one, which is here, and you just leave it there, you can gain the the um, tasks and they can be completed. Just do not claim them. 
and this should stack every every new one into a Pokemon you want does come out. Remember, because once you get all these in your inventory, they all usually go, you must do one task which is different, and then the next is defeat three Team Rocket Grunts, catch three Shadow, purify two, and then the next one is normally defeat all three leaders, and the next one's Giovanni. So having these stack really do help, especially when it's going to be Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon, they are next in line for this. If it carries on that way, or it will go to Mesprit, Azelf, and Uxi. And then apparently Shadow Pancham will be released at the start of the Team Go Rocket Takeover event. Um, not not actually really that fond of it, to be honest. Um, don't really know how meta they are. But it's nice to have a new shiny during an event as well. And just in case you want the graphic, give me two seconds. Alright guys, there is the full graphic of the entire event. What Pokemon can be shiny, what Pokemon can be found by Grunts, and also from 12k eggs. So, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you, if you are going to go for these Gibbles, and if you're going to go for any of the 12k eggs, or even Reggie Rock. And then please give me some information on the Reggies, if so. Because I don't really go into Giovanni's until they come, come into Shadow Raids. Or if it's a powerful Pokemon like Mewtwo, Rayquaza, that kind of thing. I usually just keep all my passes until then. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll speak to you all in the next one.